made it out of Venus in one piece. Now Mars is straight ahead. Cold, thin air out there. Hostile, but maybe livable with enough tech. Touching down on the red planet, red dust blooming under the leg. Olympus Mons, a shield volcano 25 kilometers high, dwarfing Earth's mountains. The slope loosens under my boots, and I'm suddenly sliding down. Low gravity turns the fall into slow motion. I'm laughing and panicking at the same time. Somehow, I still make the summit. Up here, it feels like I can reach out and touch space. Valles Marineris, a canyon 4,000 kilometers long across the planet. I'm on the rim of a seven kilometer drop staring into a red hazy abyss. Layered walls and smooth channels show where ancient water was flowed. Now that water's locked in buried ice, bled into thin air, or hiding deep below. Dust storm incoming. The whole horizon is a moving orange wall. Then nothing but red noise on the visor, and howling wind in my ears. Finally, the storm ends, and rocks and hills fade slowly back into view. The sunset here is strange. As the light dies, the halo around the sun turns blue. On Earth, sunsets are red. On Mars, dust bends, the light so the edge glows blue. We throw a tiny base camp onto bare rock, a human island in a dead desert. We tap buried ice and pull oxygen from the air. Give it time. More domes, more power, and people could we live here. Hello, Earth. The radio shows a 20-minute delay to home. Maybe I won't be alone forever. Someone has to leave the first footprints. Night on Mars. Two moons rising, lumpy Phobos low, tiny Deimos higher. And that bright steady dot in the sky? That's Jupiter, the next stop on this tour.